I come to you from Solinas Integrity, a Chennai-based startup who have designed a unique AI-based robotic solution for water as well as sewer pipelines. And joining us now, Mr. Moinak Banerjee, thank you very much for your time. You're a co-founder. What problem has your technology solved now? So we have developed a series of robotics and AI-based solutions. It generally solves the problem of sewer overflows that we see commonly in India. We have robots which can go inside the sewer lines and help you to find out the position of the defects or clock points. Mm -hmm. Moreover, we are trying to preach the idea of inspection of pipelines, which will not only revolutionize how these assets are maintained, because preventive inspection is something which should be implemented all over India. Secondly, we have launched a separate cloud-based solution. We named it as Swast AI. It helps in managing the data about the pipelines by converting the pipeline data into intelligent KPIs for the user and the customers. Mm -hmm. Now, you also have this artificial intelligence technology. How does it help, say for example, if it's clogging or overflow of sewage? So what we realized in the last two, three years in the market that we have been developing robots, the one of the major problem of the sewer overflows is because the municipal corporations or the utility operator does not have enough data about the pipelines or the data that they have are not properly utilized to, to take actionable intelligence. Our AI solutions collect those data that are there in the pipelines and also the data, data generated by our robots and these data are converted into actionable intelligence like what is the condition of the network, what type of defects we are having in the pipelines, which of the areas of the pipelines are more susceptible for sewer overflows and these data are converted into right KPIs for the utility operators or the chief engineers of the municipal corporations so that they can convert and divert the, uh, the monetary assets that they have in right places so that we can have a proper life uh, in the city. What would that mean for a common resident in a city like Chennai? Yes, so Chennai has thousands of kilometers of network and we have a huge problem of sewer overflows. We generally see in the rainy seasons, the manholes are overflowing and flooding our streets. And a lot of cases we have seen the sewer, sewer water getting into the water lines. If we can implement this robotics and AI solution and inspect the sewer lines, we can ensure that this does not happen. And if the sewer overflows and the sewer line contamination can be, is avoided, we will ensure that each and every individual or each and every citizen of this country and even citizens of Chennai can be assured of clean drinking water and proper uh, livelihood where they are not seeing any health hazards created by this black or black, black or uh, contaminated water. Often authorities cite problems like leakage, damage of pipelines and sometimes they find it difficult to even identify where exactly is the problem. Does your technology make it faster, both identification and fixing? So our technology makes things comparatively faster, around five to six times. Before our intervention, before implementation of our technology, it would have taken a more than a day for a municipal corporation to detect the position of the leaks or a clog points. But after we implement our technology, it's become much more faster. Our average block points in a pipeline or a cracks can be detected within half an hour of our engagement. And what does the robo robot do once it gets into the pipeline? So as the robot goes inside the pipelines, it collects various data about the pipelines, like what is the average pipeline diameter, what is the inclination of the pipeline, what is the uh, overall health of the health condition of the pipeline. Moreover, as it goes in the pipelines, it will also help you to pinpoint the position of the defects, so that if there is any specific rehabilitation action that needs to be done, it can be directed toward that specific point. In terms of the scope of your business, it's a startup now, what's, what's the scope and what's your target in terms of your business expansion? So as we have been developing technologies for water and sanitation asset management and we have implemented our technologies in 12 Indian cities, our vision is to take these technologies to 100 Indian cities in next three years because we have developed technology specifically by understanding the Indian market and specifically for Indian market and moreover it's affordable. So small cities and average size cities can also afford our technology and implement it larger scale. Tell us about, uh, I know it's a friends and family funded bootstrapped venture initially, later you went for uh, seed funding. Where do you stand now and in terms of valuation, in terms of your potential? 
So initially in 2020 we started our journey with some friends and angel investors who invested in our startup. But as we grew and as we are implementing these technologies all around India, we are seeing good amount of interest from the VC, the venture capitalists who are really interested to invest in this technology and take this technology to all parts of India and also abroad. We are in the process of raising, we just, we, around a year back we raised our uh, seed round, we are in the process of raising our pre-series A in next, next to three to four months. That funds will be specifically utilized for all India expansion and also for our international expansion. That will be how much? We will be raising around 30 crores. In terms of valuation? So we are specifically targeting a valuation of around 100 crores uh, in, the, in the current round of um, uh, fundraise. Lastly, how would you describe the startup culture in, in a state like Tamil Nadu now? So the startup culture is really booming in India and as, as our chief minister has already visualized that we will become, Tamil Nadu will become a trillion dollar economy in the next two to three years. Startup will play a huge role in that and the government has been giving a good amount of support to the startups so that it can winch, it can flourish uh, in this state and also helps in is also helps in its growth trajectory to become a trillion dollar economy in next two to three years. I also want to ask you about the software you have developed for uh, management of pipelines. How important is that for a country like India? So the software that you have developed specifically utilized for management of the pipelines. What we realized is not only inspection with robots, the main root problem lies in the inaccessibility of the data or mismanagement of the data. This software helps you in solving this specifically. How? This, the data that are generated from the pipelines and the robots are, are analyzed by the AI-based solution which is present in the cloud and these AI-based solutions analyze the data and convert into actionable intelligence so that the data about the pipelines can convert it into right action points and these right action points can help us to divert the monetary resources that we have in right places. Thank you so much for your time. That was Mr. Moinak Banerjee, the co-founder of Solinas Integrity that has developed innovative set of robotic devices that could solve the challenges faced by civic authorities in water as well as sewage pipelines. At the IIT Madras Research Park with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.